And welcome back. I want to bring you back for a quick update. Uh, we did test one of the cells that was in the uh, pack of the old uh, battery bank. And this is the, uh, it's spelled T-A-F-E-L. Not sure how to pronounce that. But these are originally bought as 145 amp hour cells. And uh, the ad didn't say they were grade A. I mean, the boxes and everything ca that came in looked good. The cells themselves looked good. Uh, but... Uh, you won't see it in this one, but some of them have expanded pretty noticeably since the 10 months they were used. Now, I did not have these under compression, but we did do a couple cycle tests on this. And to show you what we got on the screen here, is that you see we did a charge test, and uh, we actually started charging this last night, and I had to shut it off because it got to be about 1 in the morning, and only got 20 amp hours into it, and I don't like this thing running unattended. So... We put in about, uh, we charged about 100 and probably about 36 amp hours, counting what it did yesterday. And you can see on the discharge, we got 132 amp hours out of it. So we're getting about 100, 130 ish amp hours out of what was originally rated as 145 amp hour cell. Now, to be fair, now that's been consistent. We've gotten about 130. What was it, about 132 amp hours out of each, out of both discharge tests that we have done to this cell. Now, uh, to be fair, uh, we did not capacity test these when they came in. So that may have been the capacity when they came in. Because again, like I said, uh, just judging by kind of little stuff like this, where you see this little papers peeling up, things of that nature. I mean, the cells themselves looked good, but um, I think they may have been grade B cells when they came in but in any stretch of the uh, besides all that 132 amp hours out of this cell is is not bad not when they originally rated for 145 so uh, but to be fair like I said we didn't capacity test these when we got these in so we may still be looking at no degradation or we may be or we may be looking at 10 10 amp hours or so of um, degradation in the 10 months that we've used it. But like I said before, these are the ones that did, on some of them, noticeably kind of bulge up a little bit. So we won't be putting these back in the service. But I did want to run that capacity test because I said that we would, uh, just so we can get an idea of kind of what things look like. And to show you that once again, for that top number, you need to add about 25 amp hours to it. So it's actually about 136 amp hours because again we started we did a couple of tests yesterday and it only got about 20 amp hour 25 amp hours into the into the recharge cycle before we had to cut it for the night. So you got about 136 amp hours in and or so and about 132 amp hours out. But that'll conclude the um, the cell testing of the old banks. Uh, like I said on our. Uh, CALB cells, if you remember, this one tested 175 out of 175, which what it originally was. And this cell here, which is our 14100 cells, where we still tested above its rated capacity, if you remember. So we, we're still planning on doing, we will do something with this and this uh, once we finalize what we want that to be in relation to the, uh, the current solar battery bank. I'm also in contact with several suppliers over on Alibaba uh, to see about getting more uh, 280 amp hour cells. And we'll let you know how that goes as that progresses. Uh, other than that, that's it for uh, this update and we will chat at you later. Bye.